<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. And we're Pinky Mile Sisters in the Kitchen. And we are excited today. We're going to get a fried pie. <laughs> yep, we are. And I'm going to, we're just kind of, we're kind of going to do this together because there's not a, a, quite room enough on this counter for two people to roll. So um, I'm going to roll them and let Mary fill them, but I'm just going to kind of show her how much filling I'm putting in here. So um, I guess we're just jumping right in. Did you see yeah. how much I put in there? I sure did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a lot get more than what I would have been. <laughs> get some of these up here out of my way so my sleeve don't keep touching it. Y'all know I use my little baby rolling pin. And don't think Linda's bossy if she tells me I'm not doing this right because Linda has her way of doing it and we do things a little bit different, but I want to do them the way Linda does them today, so I'm going to try my best. Well, everybody has their own, yeah, they do. own way Absolutely. of doing things. Absolutely. And um, I told the girls this morning, um, you, you know, a lot of people probably think we don't read comments. And uh, we do read them. Yeah. We don't always comment that we read them. Right. And Mary, sometimes, um, now I have a little, this is very important if y'all are making these. You need to have some kind of little, if it's wax paper or uh, parchment or whatever, these are deli sheets. You need something up here, and I'll show y'all when I start frying. You pick your pie up by this sheet, and it makes a big difference when you're, to keep from tearing them up. Okay, Linda, I think we need to back up just to take. And yesterday, we made the dough yesterday. And remember, we done it in three different balls. She has taken each one of those balls and and made little balls out of it. Yes. So how many little balls do you think well, you got out of it? Well, didn't make quite as many as I said it would make. And I've made these for ages. And um, uh, But it, I think it made about 60-something. It just so turns out different. And you'll find that depending on yourself. Uh, depending on how, um, you know, how... Uh, how big you roll them? Or, this is three eighty. Do you want me to turn it down? Uh, yeah. Why don't you set it off the set it off on the back, Linda? Okay. Just um, turn the burner down just a bit because I don't want it to get too hot. Okay. And then she's and then she's taking each ball and rolling it out. And I'm gonna put some filling in it for her, and I'm gonna get a, another spoon. I know it'd be dirty in another spoon, that's okay. but instead of me putting my fingers in it. Now, do you think that's enough, or do you think that uh, uh, maybe just a tiny bit more? This is what I mean. Yeah. Okay. And that this is where she and I do it a little bit different. She makes hers a little bit bigger than mine, but hey, that's a lot of filling. That be good, delicious. And I kind of press it down. Yeah, so I, it's, I do um, that too. Bless, Bless you, you Linda, Carla. We got we got Carla and little Linda with us today. Yep, we got a full house. And um, you'll see that there's a lot of filling in these pies, and it's delicious. I, I don't like um, I don't like you don't a pie like without much a with just a little yeah, filling in it. That's fine. Hey, it's, they're delicious. I like a lot of crust. I guess that that, that may be the reason I do mine like I do. Because I like a lot of crust. I'm going to go in there and uh, get something just a minute. All right. This pineapple, this, no, this is coconut. We did not do coconut on air yesterday. But I'll tell y'all what this is. And she made it this morning earlier but, so it would get cool. This, the filling to this coconut is the same thing as if you was making a coconut pie, except you use more cornstarch and you cook it longer. Is that the way you did it, yes. Linda? Yes. Yeah. That's why I would do it. Add a little more cornstarch than you would your regular coconut pie. And also, I cook mine. On a coconut pie, I microwave it for five minutes. and But this, I would do six or seven minutes because the longer you cook it, the thicker it's going to get. Is yeah. that the way you done it, Linda? Yeah, I do it six minutes and yeah. then take it out. And I actually use my hand mixer, my cordless mixer, to... Okay, Mary. Why don't you go ahead and fold it and crimp it, and I'll be getting some of these ready to, okay, um, so it doesn't take us so long here. Our grease is now. Hot. Is that enough for you? I mean, is that or you want that yeah, more? No, that's plenty. That's plenty. We'll just be able to roll them a little bit, a little bit faster. Somebody mentioned yesterday why why we didn't use a tortilla um, press to right, do this. Right. 
I'm oh, sure no. I'm sure you could know. if you want to. This is just, yeah. I've never tried it. Right. And this is a different kind of dough. Y'all have to keep this in mind. So I'm not going to recommend it because I've never tried it. And another thing you've probably seen us do, when you crimp it around it, there's a, they're not exactly even. Uh, and there's little bitty thin pieces of dough. And you really need to get that kind of uh, mashed in, pressed in with your pie because that crust will get so cr uh uh, thin and crusty, it'll fall, it'll break off in your oil. Yeah, where's your little, um, um, I've already got one up there. Well, okay, is that the one you use? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I cut them in two. Okay. All right. And Mary, um, one thing that, um, that I meant to mention the other day that we oh. haven't mentioned. Oh. We have a lot of um, sweet um, viewers overseas mm -hmm. right. from the London and the UK area right. and we just wanted to acknowledge um, the passing of your queen and say right. that our thoughts and prayers are with um, with y'all right. during this uh, time of mourning. Absolutely. Um, you know I don't ever want to not acknowledge something that means some something to somebody. Right. always fascinated me uh, you know yeah. to um it's a tr it's a sadness um all over the you know the world because uh she affected everybody yes okay and also for all you members that ha uh has a membership um we um when we went to the new london museum the other day we did a little small clip inside the museum we had to video it because we didn't have a, a signal in there so little linda had to video it with the one of them the men that's over the museum so we did a little small video for our members thank you that's good no, that's good if your dough tears you can kind of pinch it back yeah. together right and we'll fry these last because they all need to set. Uh, right. The pies need to set just a little bit. And since these haven't set, we'll fry these last. Yeah, Linda's already rolled uh, out the apple and the pineapple. Yeah. So they could set before we got ready to fry them. So L L Linda has been working all morning on this. Well, it's more than an hour's job, you yeah, know. Yeah, I know it is. I know and, uh um, we so, hope we're hoping that all of y'all uh, be in, uh, know how to make these fried pies. I tell you, this is the best fundraiser a church can have. Yeah, Mama made the many the and many a dozen pies yeah, and know. sold for their church, and you did too. I did too. It's the best fun fundraiser and we that did you'll too ever and, get. I mean, you and, will literally say you'll get more orders than you can possibly make. And Jesus named Tabernacle, Mama, and she was yeah. making the dough the old way. Yeah. But um, we sold many, many, many pies, right. fried pies. Me and you both did. Yes, we did. We were probably some of the, probably, Betty Fonville sold. Yeah. Did Mary Fonville sell? I'm not sure. I know I, I, know I was the main one that, uh, that sold them. <laughs> I thought I was the main one. <laughs> that sold the fried pies? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, Lord. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I know you sold a lot of them. I wouldn't. Did you go in those factories and those plants and sell mm -hmm. them? I sure did. Well, I don't remember that, Linda. I'm sorry. I did. I'm sorry. They, uh, Betty Fumble came back. Uh, Betty, I, I, I tell this all the time, or I've told it before. So if you're watching, Betty will probably get a laugh out of this. She came back one day. She said she brought all the pineapple back. She said. Don't nobody want these pineapples. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, they're, what and is, I they said, just didn't know. I said, give them to me. <laughs> yeah. I took yeah. them, and I think I sold all of them at one place. Linda, you know how I, you know, I forget things. I actually was married a lot of the time. You were pregnant with and I Carlos. Was, I was pregnant. Well, I still sold them pies and them pies. Oh, I know but you did. But then whenever I got, when I got larger, then I dial, I I did it on the phone. I called it and, and uh, got orders for lunches and things like that. Anyway, I'm talking too loud, ain't I? No, you just said when I got larger. Oh. <laughs> I did get Further quite Further along. Long. Yeah. I did get quite big with my, um, that was with Chuck. 
Now with Carla, I feel I worked on a job. I worked downtown, saved every one of my checks so we could make a down payment on a house. I think church fundraisers can be traumatizing. I still won't make peanut brittle or fried pies. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, when you make so many for a church yeah. fundraiser. Yeah. Well, you was, that's whenever you actually was a, it, the pastor's wife. <laughs> yeah, but I, I had a baby. At one point, I had a baby. I was eight months pregnant, and we were selling peanut brittle, and we sold out at this function. Yeah. We sold out. We went home, worked all night long, making more to sell the next day. Uh, can they hear you? Sometimes, um, anyway. And you did chocolate covered strawberries, I'll, because you was a pastor's wife then. That's um. That was uh, back in the day uh, when I was growing the church in my belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny right there. <laughs> so I started to say a while ago, and then I got sidetracked about comments that different people write. Oh, yeah. And most of our comments are we have some very very sweet. Followers, I think we have the best group too, of Linda. people I think so too. Um, in the world, is what I think. I <laughs> but think we got some of the best. Every once in a while, we'll get somebody that is opinionated, like I am. And um, I try my best to stay on my good side. <laughs> oh, Lord. So what I was saying was... If you start reading comments, they can they can either make your day or they they can break your day if you'll let it. And when you're, you know, we we kind of try to go with the punches, but sometimes when your back's killing you and you read one of them comments, it's not too nice. <laughs> yeah, when you're rolling these out, um, it's not going to be a complete circle, like I told you, and that's why that she does that. She pushes them, pushes it in to kind of make it, make those ends stick inside. I try to think, the reason I'm telling y'all all this, I try to think if this was my first time and I'm watching it, I would like to know these little things. Yeah, that's good, I'm good a little, advice. I'm a, I'm a person who has want to know why. <laughs> I'm like my grandson, Braden. Now, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Well, that's kind of the way I am. I want to know why, the reason why, did you do those things. And Linda's using her little roller. She loves that little rolling pin. Y'all know where this little rolling pin came from? You told me, but I forgot. Bought it in Florida. Is that too I, much? No, that's good. I um, went to a lot of stores before I found this and I actually paid and this was decades ago I paid um, 20 something dollars for a kid's set to get this roller Did and you? all I wanted in the set was the roller I didn't want anything else yeah. but I mean I didn't throw it away but well, we got bought it for run the set. out of pie filling so what do you got room about three more Probably about three more. Yeah, if we don't put as much in them. <laughs> well, I'm, I won't. Yeah. I won't be full. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. You got three more. Now, if you're making coconut or chocolate, you have to make sure it's thick enough because it's this is cream and it and it uh, when you hit, when it hits that oil heat. It, um, that's about all I can get in there. Okay. Um, it will, it will, it will get soft, get runny if you don't, if you don't make yeah. sure you get it. It'll run enough. out and, and it out. is a big mess. Yeah. It'll yes. ruin your, ruin your oil. Yeah. Yes, it will. And then you've got stuff burning in your oil yep. and it's not fun. Then you have, then you know what you have to do? Strain the oil. I've done that so many times. But one reason we had to strain our oil so often is we had that we was using that other recipe for the crust. Yeah, remember? And really, I like that other recipe for that other crust better than I do this. Linda don't. But the reason that this is best is because it holds together a lot better than the other recipe because the pies, more pies came apart. Don't you remember? Yeah. The, and yeah. when they come apart, that filling comes out into your oil, and you have to strain that oil. To me, hands down, this is my favorite. Yeah, completely my favorite. Oh, I'm I'm getting I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is good. It's delicious. And and for the for the um, 
for the much tr for the compared the the problems that you have with that other crust, this is the best route to go. Okay, let's do one more. I've got have what? problems with my left knee this morning. Yeah, that's not good. It's a certain way I bend it. Wow. <laughs> Has um, Kathy LePage made any comments this morning? Okay, she may be. Is she having? Uh, uh, I don't know. She may something. be. She may be at doctor's appointments or something. I need to text her. I hadn't heard from her in a few days, and I was just thinking about her and two or three other people that I hadn't heard from I just haven't seen in her, a few days. Yeah. Well, um, Karen, you know who you are, Karen. Sent us a picture, Linda and I a picture, and uh, I forgot to bring it this morning. Um, so tomorrow, Mary, so have we I'll show y'all next week. Yes, thank I'll you, yeah. thank, thank you for you sending Karen that. For uh, she had them sent it off to Shutterfly and, and sent us a picture of one of our pictures that we had. A, I'm gonna keep. Each other. Sorry, Mary, I'm interrupted That's you. Okay. I'm gonna keep those little dough samples. If you have any left, keep those to check your oil before you start frying. Okay. And uh, Mary, if you'll just set that in the utility room somewhere to get okay. it out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna. You want me to set this with it, or are you gonna? Yeah. You have to it somewhere. I don't. Else? Do what? Oh, okay. Thank you, Linda. Uh, yeah. Don't put my yeah, uh, know, mat in that nasty pan there, Mary. Thank okay. you. Okay. So I'm. We got to get this out of the way here and get this ready for our setup for the frying. And so we're doing a little switcheroo here. Mary, if you'll stay in front of the camera, I'll. All right. Since I moved and you moved, okay. I moved after you did. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a. I, I, this sure makes me think. Of, you know what this is? This is word pineapple on here on this piece of paper. Do you know what the, what this is? When we're making pineapple, apple, peach, coconut, whatever, we have to write on on a piece That's of why paper I put or something. That down. I know. <laughs> That's my marker. Yeah. <laughs> you put it on your tray because you got so many different trays and so many different kinds of fillings. And if you don't, you'll you'll say they'll say I want a peach, and you'll go over there and say, oops. Which one's peach? And we start. We have to break it open to see what flavor it is. So if you're making more than one flavor at a time, you have to uh, mark them because it makes a lot. And uh, we've had a few surprises sometimes because pineapple's my favorite. And and um, I'd be wanting a pineapple, and I'd bite into it, and it'd be apple. <laughs> okay. So um, okay, what? we're fixing to put. Some boxes. If you have box lids of any kind, yes, um, this these, is great for that. These are the best things to do this with. And uh, I went to the store many a time to get boxes. And um, I'm thinking I may just so we don't have to. I may sit this here. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm right in front of that camera. This is the thing about pies. You are constantly moving. So I hope I don't make y'all dizzy. Um, so um, this is a good box here. This has come from Sam's, but we were, I took fried pies to Jesus Name Tabernacle. It was for a funeral or wake or something. And I put them in the kitchen and um, we get the boxes, you know, they're still soda pop drinks. What was that? I'm not something that oh, it scared me. Um, um, they're still wrapped in plastic, but you go to, um, you know, where they've just emptied some boxes, and you can get these boxes. The pie, pies don't ever touch them. We line them. Right. But uh, it was advertising beer. Oh, really? <laughs> and, and I had some wouldn't. of those pies in that box, and people were looking at me. I'm like, give me a break. <laughs> I, that's just happened to be the box yeah. I used. I don't drink beer. <laughs> anyway, it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> so now she's... Uh, Gauging the, I want this um, no no cooler than 360. It needs to be at least 360, 
And I'm going to test it with my dough before I start putting pies in here. When you start frying pies, and y'all probably going to see my face is red. It is okay. We're good here. It, um, it goes fast. And I'm going to rinse my hands one more time, and then we're fixing to, <laughs> um, we're fixing to start. And I'm going to fry six at a time. I believe I can fry six in this. And you're going to strain them on that? I have a little ritual. Okay. So um, I'm going to follow Linda's lead. Whatever. She... This is, I'm just doing a test with this. And they should come up. I well, usually fry them between five thicker. and six. A little bit thicker. So dough, it's, so it's, it's still not, maybe not quite hot yeah, enough. Right. If you one thing about it, if you have something that's grease logged, your grease is not hot enough. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do away with this one. And I usually fry them between five and six, and that's on an electric stove. And if you got a gas stove, it would I would say it would be medium high. medium high. Yeah, uh, we grew up with a gas stove and it had a, a simmer burner on it. And Daddy mm -hmm. would not buy a stove unless it had a simmer on it. And um, they probably don't even know what that is. They probably <laughs> don't. It's the it's the lowest flame that mm -hmm. you can have mm -hmm. on there. It just basically yeah. keeps whatever you got on on the stove warm. Uh, warm. Yeah. Let's see if this one comes up. You talking to me? Or you did you try the filling? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Carla's over, Carl over there tasting the filling. Now see, that one came, that one yeah, came up. Yeah, it did, yeah. But I'm going to still get this, a, yeah. I'm going to get this a little bit hotter. I do not want them to be, yeah. um, I don't want them to be greasy. Poor Mama, I think about her so many times when I fry pies. This is a job for one person. It's really too much for one person. Yeah. But Mama fried she did on bars hundreds yeah. of pies. It's it's 375, so it should be okay. I've done it too, but uh, and it's hard. <laughs> this is my little pan here that I so I don't drag drop grease all over the place, and that's what I do this in. So I'm gonna move this, and we're gonna zoom <laughs> this. Let's see, Mary. Put uh, it over there somewhere where okay. you can. And I'm going. What you're these do. are apple, and I'm going to start with the apple. And you see how I'm picking this up? I'm picking this up by this paper, and that is a big lifesaver when you're yeah. frying pies. It's picking it them up is. by the paper because they come apart. Uh, it's just easier to handle if you got that paper. Now, I may not start out frying six at a time okay. because I've got a lot of oil okay. in there. I yeah. may start out just frying four at a time Okay. because I don't want my oil to. And I'll also like to tell you, when you're putting, you've got to have a really large boiler and you can't fill it full of oil because when you start putting the pies in there, it's going to come up. So yeah. make sure you leave enough space in your boiler. And you want to be real gentle with them too. And Mama never used a spider. She used a, um, what do you call it, the, the flat spatula? Yeah, well, I'm going to uh, show you what I usually use. And don't okay. let me bump your leg, Linda. Um, of course, I probably ain't going to be able to find the spoon that I usually use here in this drawer. I never used a spider. Um, Yes, you can, can't you, Linda? Linda was making uh, sofa pias one time, and uh, Bobby and I were working, and we came in, and we seen a little small boiler out in the yard, and I could, I, I said to Bobby when we was driving up, I wonder why that boiler's in the yard. Well, we get in the house, and Linda proceeds to tell me that she caught the kitchen on fire. She even had to call the fire department. She had, was making soap pias and filled the boiler full of oil and when she dropped her soap pia down in there it exploded and we had a gas stove. It was uh, then. Mm, yeah. and, uh, um, anyway, it smoked up all my cabinets but I can tell you my little Linda did a great job of cleaning that kitchen up. There was very little signs of smoke. She did a good, good job. She, I think she was scared to death what I was going to say. Well, I was just a kid. 
could have still killed me. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> but I did stay calm. I called 911 and I said, it's not an emergency, but my kitchen's on fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did they say, yeah, I think it is? Yeah, they sent a huge fire truck. And <laughs> well, how old was you? About 16? Yeah, I think you I was about 16. 16. Yeah. Now, um, Mary, um, what do you want me to go ahead and move transfer You those? can, um, and you might want to get something to help slide them off so you're not picking them up. Yeah. For one thing, yeah, they're too a, hot a to pick up. Are pretty fine. Um, so just kind of slide them off on onto these racks here. Yeah. And start with the one closest to the trail. Yeah, to mm -hmm. that one. Okay. So you don't have to, the goal is not to pick them up, you know, um, so they don't tear up because they're hot. Right. And how they. Long, how long did you let them sit before uh, you fried them? I rolled them this morning. I started rolling them at 7 o'clock. So they probably need to sit about an hour but if you're if you're making two or three different kinds roll all one kind first mm -hmm. let them set and then roll the others so by the time you're through you can start with the first ones right. that you rolled and that's that's how i do and that's probably how you do too mary yes, right it is no no I, I usually roll them all at one time and, and fry them all at one time you know what i'm saying they're ready, type, yes, they are ready when you get ready. To, you just put them in the oil, the first ones you rolled out, if that's what you were saying. I might have misunderstood you. Now, in case y'all are wondering, these boilers, you can use metal utensils with them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with that spider working. Yeah, it's doing good, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Because, you know, it being... With the dip in it, you know, yeah. I wasn't sure how it's going to pick up that pie. Well, I'd never done it with the spider. Well, I hadn't either. That's why I was wondering. <laughs> now, like anything else, if you were if you were frying hundreds of these, you would have more than one boiler frying at a time. Yes, but we're we're not frying that many today. Now, y'all may think it's a lot, but to us, this is just a <laughs> no. Well, even These, though it's a lot of preparation, it's not. It doesn't yeah. take long to fry them. And I didn't count how long it takes to fry them, but I'm thinking like three right minutes. I think I think I used to know that it took about three, three I never minutes. I time mine, and I guess it's because I done them so much. Yeah. Oh, well, Linnell called me yet last night. Okay. She said she watched our video yesterday making the fried pies, and she said, Mary, it made me think, uh, look back so much on the time that we, uh, Linnell, my sister-in-law, Charles's wife, we had a um, fried pie shop in Azel years ago, and, um, and we called it Pinky Moss Fried Pies. And we made fried pies every day. And the way we would do them, we would make them, from for that for that day and then the same day we would make up the filling for the next for day. the next day y'all yeah. were we did that y'all were on the was it the Jacksboro we highway? was on the Jacksboro highway yep and uh and we laughed about this so much Linda um a, a lady called us uh and wanted um said can y'all make me a, a buttermilk pie I answered the phone and I said, yes, ma'am, we sure can. And I got off the phone and I looked at Linnell. I says, have you ever made a buttermilk pie? <laughs> she said, no, I haven't. And I said, well, neither have I, but we're going to learn. And we did. We made and And you want, they're pretty good. I've made a bunch of them since then, but I have never made a buttermilk pie before. I imagine there's not too many people that's been in business, whether it was a home cottage bakery or another one that hadn't said the exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You Do you remember when we was at the cake wedding cake expo? Well, which and, one? Um, it, oh, yeah, that's right. If the second yeah, one. Right, well, okay. No, the first one. The uh, first yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And um, these wedding expos, I'm sure y'all know what they are, but uh, young couples that are, and whatever couples, however old they are, they come around and there's different vendors. And we had all kinds of cakes and, yeah, we did. and goodies displayed. We had a big display. And they asked us, could we make half of the cake bridal and half of it groom? And I said, well, of course we can. <laughs> 
O M G. I know. <laughs> Goodness, it was a it was yeah. a booger bear, it but was. we did it. It was. I wouldn't have made it if I hadn't yeah. had my sister, but yeah. but we we did it. <laughs> and and if you're wanting to know what the cakes were, one side of it was Spider Man, and the other side of it was bridal with flowers and and ribbons and. I I was my course my favorite was the bridal side Me too. but it was definitely different. I was so glad to get that get that finished and get out of there that day because <laughs> it was a, it was and a, it was a big cake. Yeah, it was a tiered cake, and it was in Tyler, and we transported the pieces and put it together put there. It together there, I, I think. Which I don't was, know what we could have done. Which could have been a disaster. Yeah, exactly. But it, it really turned it out beautiful. It turned out beautiful. Yes, it did. I think that one's turned upside down. Can you down. freeze them once yeah. they're cooked? Um, somebody asked that yesterday, and I never have, but I do know that I have a customer that used to buy several dozen at a time, and she did freeze them. And Mary, you know who I'm talking about. I won't yeah. say her name, but yeah. Charles went to school with her. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can, but I will tell you they'll uh, they won't be crispy. You like can put them in now. the oven, and yeah. but they're not going to be like they were just cooked, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, because anytime you freeze something, it creates a moisture, and that's deadly, you know. So, um, uh, but I've learned since there's a lot of things that you can freeze, desserts and things. If you do it in the proper way and wrap it, whatever container that it's in, if you will wrap it over and over and over in saran wrap, that keeps that moisture from getting out of there um, into the pie. So it might work if you do that. It might work better. Yeah. But I've froze them like that, like before you fry them, many, many times. And Mama did too. Yeah. But. I wasn't, whoops, messed that one up, uh, but um, they're not I wasn't good. a fan of them. No, no, they're not, to me, they're not as good. And if, and if you're thinking about taking these pies somewhere to somebody when you make a lot, let them cool before you wrap them up. Yeah, you do not want to, you do yes. not want to seal anything no. that's warm. No. Because when it get whenever that hot, uh, fill, uh, filling is hot until it cools and you close it up into a, a, like a, a aluminum foil or saran wrap or a, a container it's that steam is going to go through and make that crust soft and that's part to me that's part of what makes these so delicious is that crispy crust yeah that's 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 my favorite is that crispy crust there's going to be five in this one because that's okay. how many was left in the okay. apples. So okay, I put them all five. All right, now we got time. to make sure we get apple. We got to put a tag on these so we'll know that these are apple. Okay, uh, so there's some little cards over there, Mary, on the uh, where um, by hey. the bar at that table by the bar. Okay, the, they're beige cards. Okay, here well, they are. These, these here, Linda. Yeah. All right, and these are all apple. Several people have mentioned the air fryer, so if you don't mind leaving one or two out, so I can try it. Oh, that's okay. right. I forgot to bring the, uh, tell you to bring the So, air do fryer. you want me to leave um, uh, a couple of pineapple ones out? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. One or two will be fine. So, Just Mary, if you will get a paper plate out of the pantry there. And put two of these pies on it for Linda. I'm all thumbs today. <clears throat> Thank you, Linda. Put Here. two. Oh. I just set them in okay. there in the utility room. Okay. I wonder why I didn't fry those pies. <laughs> now, these are pineapple that we're frying now. Oops, that get one. the rest of these apple off, and then I'll that one two more them. up. You might can hear this popping just a pinch because there was a little tiny piece of that pineapple that tore up. Oh, you're doing pineapple now? Yeah, that's, that's all right, the apple. This is apple, all right? Okay. 
Now, y'all can break open one of them and eat it anytime you want no, to. No, we'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and remove yourself, these. Help yourself, Carla. Is there a pineapple? No, we haven't done those. They'll, that. they'll be coming up next. I got them in the, in the boiler. And now I'm transferring them again to over here. The, the ones. So we can use Have this right. The coconut uh, will, be, will be fried last because we roll those last. You can have, I'll yeah. Try it in the air fryer. Yes, they're in there in the, uh, put it on a separate paper plate, Carla, so you'll know it's coconut. And they're in there in the, in that tray that's in the utility room. I love coconut. It's, um, it's so creamy and I love chocolate too and I almost made some, but I'm glad I didn't because I wouldn't have had enough dough. But, um. I've made lemon, I've made sweet potato, chocolate, coconut, whoops, a little bit of oil drip down there. I like putting a glaze on the chocolate ones. Do you? I don't like a glaze on them. I don't think they need a glaze, but that's just, that's just me. I know a lot of people do put glazes on, on their fried pies. Do you do you do like a just a powdered sugar glaze, Linda? Yeah, yeah. Just a simple little glaze, but I, I like it on the chocolate ones, not necessarily on the uh, the fruit ones. Okay. Ooh, someone mentioned blueberry. Have you ever made a blueberry? One? I hadn't. Now I'll tell y'all something because I think be. these questions were asked yesterday. Blueberry and blackberry. Uh, uh, well, blueberry not as much as blackberry, but. The key to the filling is you have to get it thick, thick. enough, like Mary right. said. Right. Blackberries, um, they're, it's a very fragile fruit, and it's going to come apart if you do much stirring on it. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be just almost like a, just like a filling and not the actual berries. Yeah. So um, there would be a couple of ways that you could probably the berries would come prevent out that. Cook your filling and they just add them in it and just fold them in. Uh, right. Peach, um, I make peach. I won't make them unless I have fresh peaches. But um, peach is also a soft fruit and it requires more uh, um, uh, cornstarch. It has to be thicker because it will definitely, they'll definitely, the filling will come out. I do, I have made a lot of uh, peaches out of the can, the canned peaches. Mama did too, yeah. but I, I just yeah. don't like it. Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what it is. When you're doing a fundraiser, you do it the cheapest way. I'm right, absolutely. Cans. But if you're doing it for your family and all, uh, the fresh peaches, for taste. it costs you <laughs> yeah. more. Yeah. But, that, but they're still good, even with the canned peaches. No, they are. They're good. I mean, yeah. Mama made them all the time. Yeah. It's just my preference. I don't, yeah. like, I don't like to use canned. And then I think somebody mentioned um, dried fruit. And certainly... That's right. Somebody um, did. Certainly... Uh, you can use dry food, fruit. You have to reconstitute it. And um, a lot of people like apricot. Apricots are not something that we have a lot of in this area. So if we get apricots. Dried ap uh, apricots. Linda, someone asked about that. How would you do that? You have to reconstitute them, you I'm know, to, to get the fruit right. soft. soft. And... Um, and I think Mama, when she used dried fruit, I think she cut it up, didn't she? I think she did. I really don't remember, Linda. But I think she did do some dried fruit before. Okay. Get these off. So you see, the frying goes fairly fast. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you have to, you really need help when you do this. Yeah. If you got this many that you're doing. My stand went crazy. Did uh -oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. It just started going crazy. Just started swirling. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell y'all another, another little secret. After you fried pies and you walk in a store, they're going to smell fried pies yeah. on you. 
it gets everywhere. It's in your air. We have fried at one time so many fried pies, your house smells like oil. It does when you walk yeah. in. Well, what it is, um, Mother, when we first started doing these, she worked at a little, it was a little, called the egg house, where it was, a, um, it was a little room, and then she had a refrigerated room where she kept the eggs. And that's where she done a lot of sewing. Matter of fact, that's where she made a, a lot of Carla's, Carla's clothes, because she had her sewing machine over there. And, and then when we done the fundraiser for the fried pies, she carried that over there. And I helped her with it a lot, but I can tell you, when I got pregnant, <laughs> And I walked in that building. <laughs> the smell? The smell yeah. made me so sick because of the oil. I was, oh, I didn't help her much that day because it was just the, because she had fried so much in there and it was just a small building. And anything greasy made me sick. Yeah. First few well, months. you were you were sick. I was basically sick. the whole nine I months. I was sick with Carla. Yeah. Were you with your other? Babies? I was, and I was sick with Chuck. Now, little Linda. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> when I got pregnant with her, I argued with the doctor. I said, "There is no way that I am pregnant. I am not sick at all. I did not have not one morning sickness with with Linda." But you know what? God had His hand in that too. Because I had that kidney stone that was um, um, bladder. No, it was kidney stone that was lodged. And if I'd have been throwing up, he told me I could have died and the baby. If, I hadn't, if, if I'd have been nauseated yeah. and sick. So um, I had to have gallbladder surgery. During, while she was, while I was pregnant, three months pregnant, and I had surgery. And you were awake while they did the surgery. Oh, you? Lord. Well, I wasn't supposed to be, but... I told them, they knew I was pregnant, so um, I told them, don't give me much anesthesia because it doesn't take much for me. <laughs> well, I woke up on the operating table, and back then, the gallbladder surgery wasn't like it is today. It wasn't laparoscopic. The little scissors like that. I got split wide open, and um, so anyway. And I, then your other episode while you were pregnant with Linda was your house caught on fire. Uh-huh, sure did. I was and she up, tried to put it out. I sure did. Well, with her five it, months pregnant. It was, um, I was frying, but I had some oil on the skillet, on, on the stove, and the phone rung. Well, back then, there wasn't cell phones. It was back in the bedroom, and I was in the kitchen. I went to answer, and it was a pastor's daughter. And I was talking to the phone, and forgot about it. All of a sudden, I heard some crackling, and I threw that phone down. I said, oh, no. I threw the phone down, went in there, and my kitchen was aflame. And uh, I run back and told her, and she called the fire department. But anyway, it's, um, it, and, and they carried me to the hospital in an ambulance. And little, little Carla, I was on the stretcher, and I told them whenever they, when they was fixing to take me to the hospital, that um, my kids, Carla and Chuck, was fixing to come home on the school bus. And I said, please, somebody be out there and tell them that I'm okay. I had an oxygen mask on my face. And um, uh, when they got there, Linda, the bus driver wouldn't let, car, wouldn't let the kids off because they didn't know the circumstances, you know. So they wouldn't let her off. And Carla, she was what, 11 years old? Little, little, little Carla. innocent Carla. Sweet little Carla. Get... That was my mama. I saw her. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, what'd you do to well, him? Yeah, tell him what you've done, Carla. He, oh. he had his hand on that lever that opens the door. And yeah. He was holding it. Yeah. He didn't open it. Yeah. Who does and that? That was. Leg. That, that was. When he, when he took his hand off the lever to, to hold his leg where I kicked him, then I opened the door and I went out. Yeah. I, I'm 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 sorry that my daughter did that, but anyway. <laughs> I apologize. You're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> that was ugly. So who does that remind you of, Carla? <laughs> Very fierce. Who does that remind you of? Which one of your kids does that remind you Renee. of? Renee. Renee. Yes. Renee. <laughs> yep. Nice. Yep. Or yep. Renee or Kaylin? Yes. <laughs> and happy birthday, Kaylin. Her birthday yes. was yeah. the twelfth. I got to talk to her just a minute. 
I love her so much, and I miss getting to see those kids, all the kids. The reason that I had to go to the hospital is because they was afraid I inhaled too much smoke. I, I was fine. I was fine. And I did not want to go to the hospital. Didn't you also break your leg? I did break my leg, but it, that was, uh, I didn't break my leg, I, I, uh, well, it was my ankle, something, I did something, but it wasn't that time. Okay, uh, so, um, that was just a bad year. Do I need to move Except those Melinda. apple, and uh, so you've got room to put the yes. pineapple? Yes, yes. So this is our pineapple. This is the pot. This is the ones that I'm wanting to get into. <laughs> and one of these is about all I can eat. Now, when, like I said, I did mine smaller, so I would eat more than one. Um, put a bunch of paper towel on the bottom of that, okay. Mary. But they, I actually, Linda, I think these are smaller than some that you made before. Are they? Or they am could, I just imagining? They could be smaller. Uh, because these are really not, these are nice size. They really are. So we're fixing to start frying the coconut. When I get these up, this is going to be all pineapple. Okay. So, and then um, when we get them fried, then we can taste one. Yes. And, and let's don't forget to take pictures. If y'all please don't let me forget. Well, we got plenty <laughs> for sure, so hopefully we won't. And, and, you know, it looks like a lot, but there's a bunch of people wanting one. I know. We, we, don't, we don't advertise to locals that we're making pies. No. no. <laughs> we might have some people no. lined up in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not quite ready. Yeah, Braden, I already told you all this, but Braden, um, I told him I were making pies and he said, last time I only got one. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. You got you got to make sure to take enough for him to yeah. feel like he's had a pie. Now Mary Mary saying she can only eat one of these. I can guarantee you I'm going to eat more than one Is of them. Is that right? Well, not at one time. Yeah. But oh well, no. I didn't say. I didn't say <laughs> over a period of time. I said it. And I didn't, one at a I time. didn't say how long it would be before I'd eat the next one either. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it definitely reminds me of my mama. And these are coconut. These no, are that's all the pineapple. Yeah. That's all the pineapple. Yeah. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can just see mama sitting at that counter. She oh, would just no. she this would is her she element. Good, uh, yes. She would be in hog heaven. Yes, she would. Yeah. Wouldn't it be, Linda, you ever think about how you wish that Mama, that's hot, <laughs> Mama um, could just be sitting on the sidelines watching us? I do. Us. I think about that so many times. And, things and, and Daddy, do. too. Daddy loved to yeah. eat. Daddy yeah. was, he enjoyed food. We'll get over here and move these. Oh, well, where's the tray? Do we have a tray to go on this, or do you want to just put it on there? I don't. Just lay them on okay. this. I don't. Okay. I, all I'm telling you, I don't think it'll need it because. You know, I would get another tray, but it'll be yeah. another one to clean up. Yeah. And, no, I don't think we'd need um, it. I actually have got another big one in yonder. It's okay, Linda. It's it's not. I don't want them to I got soggy. enough paper towels on here. They're cook, they're already getting cool. These this okay. on this rack. But Mama, when she got to where she couldn't do the actual work, she would sit and watch us. Mm -hmm. And she would sit at that counter so many times and, and watch, um, watch me cook or talk about, you know, what we were doing or something. Yeah. What we were going to do because Christmas and Thanksgiving was such a big thing for Mama. And she... Uh, she worked weeks before the holidays, getting ready, cooking, right. and doing a lot of different stuff. Um, 
So that's all the pineapple, right? Yes. Or is, these are pineapple. These are pineapple. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just, once you get those, we'll try to just keep the rest of them, even if we have to put some under here. Okay. But we'll try to keep right. them on the trays. And then I've got yeah. this one tray here, too, that we can use. Yeah. Um, in case any of y'all are wondering why you put them on racks, it lifts them up and it helps them cool better rather than right. just sitting down. So um, my grease has held up pretty good. I did get a couple little spatches in here from I'm gonna let those sit where they the last ones let them cool a little bit before I put them on that rack now um, I'm sorry I'm, I wasn't I wasn't gonna fry one that hadn't set long enough or at least I hope these have set long enough but the coconut? If you, yeah if you fry some that haven't set you're gonna know what we're talking about there they are going to come apart it had almost kind of has to the crust kind of has to to dry a little bit on top yeah. And these are coconut, right? Yes, these are coconut. Yeah, these are. You, it, it probably ruined my lunch, <laughs> but I'm definitely going to eat one. Well, mm. I, I didn't do, go to any trouble for lunch. I just oh, I, no. I cooked hey, that stew meat yesterday and I fixed those yeah, noodles. What so you got is going to be wonderful. I thought that would be at least something to keep us from just totally not having nothing but sugar. Right. And these are coconut. Yep. And I'm gonna finish moving the rest of these pineapple before I forget. Now I've been frying three and four at a time. I could have put more in here. I think one time I fried five. But um, it depends on the boiler that you are frying them in. You do not want to overcrowd them. Right. Because they'll stick to each other and then part of it won't be brown and the rest of it will be. So that's important. Carla, did you get your coconut one out? I did. Okay. You're welcome. This is coconut. Okay. Okie dokie. Actually, my grease has done real good. You can tell there's yeah. a little bit in here from where uh, a pie, a little bit of the stuff has uh, come out. But um, it, it's not bad at all. It's done, uh, I think it's done excellent. So you had some good um, dough. And you closed them good. That's two things that makes yeah. a difference in and the, your and oil. the filling. Yeah, and the filling was thick enough, right? Because if it's runny, if you tear the pie, yeah. it's going to come out in your grease, right? That's the difference in this crust recipe <laughs> a lot too, because that other one, that other one, uh, it did it come apart a lot easier than these. This recipe, it must have been softer, Mary. Was well, it is that canned milk? I guarantee okay. you that canned milk that yeah. made them lighter. Yeah, I think yeah, I think so. I think that's what it was. This reminds me of peanut brittle day standing over this hot stove. Um, now, peanut brittle, that's what you made ten times more than yeah. I have. I made lots I, and, I lots, and never lots of peanut brittle. Got involved in a lot of it. I did some, but not nothing like you did. Okay. Now, if this had been um, an off-brain grease, it would not have done like yeah. this neither. Yeah. Because the off-grain grease, grease can't take as high a temperature as it, or at least yeah. I don't and, think and it can. And this is Wesson oil that you this use. This is Wesson oil. Yeah. And a lot of people use peanut oil. It can take a high degree. That's what yeah. they fry turkeys in, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I've never, I've never fried pies in peanut oil. I like, I, I like the I, uh, I like the vegetable or the canola oil yeah. Yeah. to fry pies in, and I don't, because I don't want it to. 
I, that's just what I like. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can actually taste if it's fried in that's another just kind what of I've oil or not. Used but as oil. I never have used others. I, I love this boiler to fry them in. You don't have to worry about picking up the thing and yeah. dropping a pot holder in the I oil, know. which I've done before. Have you? You can just pick it up. Yeah. I heard that bell, but that's your, that's your, uh, is it clock. an hour? Has it been yeah. an hour? But that's okay. That's all right. Well, we're almost we're through. Yeah, we got two more fryings. Yeah. Thank y'all for bearing with great. us. You're doing great. Thank you. And thank you for rolling Some them good pies help. out this morning. Well, I knew that there was not going to be yeah. enough time yeah. to do it well, all. I, I, was a, that's why I asked you, was you going to do all of them on fi film? Because I knew how long it took, takes to roll these out. Now, um, we can move some of them, and y'all can sit down over there and, and, and break one apart and eat it while I fry these last ones if you want to. I will move that tray. Since, we, since we've been over an hour. Um, um, I, um, I'll go ahead and get these off and... We need to, um, well, when you break them, you're going to know what they are, but um, that was hot. So if you'll, now I've burned myself a lot. Have you? Yeah. With the pot, with the oil? I have done it. I don't know if I've burned myself a lot, but I definitely have well, burned myself. I've got myself. some cars. I did. <laughs> Which one's uh, uh, the, ones the one in the now. white tray. Yep. So, no, this is coconut. Yeah, yeah, we're this frying coconut now. Okay, the pine. You want me to move? Um, so, um, this in yonder is there room in there to put that? Yeah, um, we're gonna. And I then guess we'll make we'll a, a tray. Get a tray. Yeah, right. get a tray, and then let and everybody get what they want. Okay. I don't know what I'd do without that utility room. <laughs> I know. Y'all don't give up on us. We're almost to the point that we're going to um, marry um, a platter. You can get, there's a white platter up there. Okay. If you want to get it, it's behind the dishes. And you can get that or get saucers, however you want to do it. Well, we're just going to put one kind on here. Is that what you want? Because or not mixing them or it, it doesn't matter. You you can do that, and then anybody can just get what they want. You know, if they want to get one of each or whatever okay. they can. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go put. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, we. Uh, do y'all all want pineapple? Do you want me to put pineapple on this tray or or apple? Well, I think we should probably break one of each to show them, don't you? Okay. Okay, that's that's great. That's fine. Okay. I already got mine. <laughs> okay. So what do you think? It's delicious. Okay. It is the best. Okay, you want Linda. I got pineapple, apple, and then this is coconut. Okay. So coconut's on the right, and apple okay. in the middle, and pineapple. Which there. ones are these? Coconut. Coconut. This is okay. Coconut. I'm going to set these. Ooh, these are hot. Yeah. <laughs> they break real easy when they're hot if you yeah. pick them up by hand. Yep. I'll let you do those, Mary. Um, I just want to kind of move those so we can sit down and it won't be so crowded. Yeah. We can leave these over here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. So this is all of them. <laughs> Um, yeah, why don't you put, put them over there? there. Yeah. yeah, put them over here, Linda. I think I pretty much got every space in there taken. Okay. Thank you. We'll just okay, we're through. leave these over here so y'all can... Sorry. 
Okay. All I got to do is get these out so y'all can go ahead and break one open and okay. eat it. So this is the pineapple, and this is the apple, and this is the coconut. You want me to just go ahead and break one yeah. open? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that filling right there is probably about what you get in a regular pie. Yeah. It's not, you don't yeah. get much filling in, in regular pies. Well, Linda, you going to taste one too? You talking about little Linda? Yeah, you. No, no I'm going, I've got to get these out of here. How many more you like? This is the last ones I'm frying. Okay. okay. All right, well, I'm going to taste this pineapple, y'all. Mmm. It's just as good as I thought it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. It's just as good as I knew it would be. You know, <laughs> sometimes you want something for so you want something so bad, and then you then you finally get it and you mm -hmm. eat it, and it just is. It just don't seem like it was what you thought it would yeah. be. So to say it's just what you thought it would be, that's the best compliment. It's delicious, Linda. Okay, let me wash my hands here. So you're three. Yep. Now, don't you sit down and break one of them or eat one of that pineapple. It's delicious. Did you get a coconut one too, Mary? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's coconut. We could have got a plate. It's okay. I don't need a plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See how creamy that is? Don't that look good? The coconut? Mm -hmm. Now, I like coconut too. I like them all. Pineapple is my favorite, and then coconut would probably be the next. And, and I, uh, hey, I like peaches too. And then and there's the apple. apple. They are delicious. Well, thank you, Jesus, and yeah. thank y'all for staying with us. And um, it's a labor of love. It definitely is. I would say make sure you've got a couple of days to do this in and some very good help, <laughs> um, unless you're feeling really industrious. Um, so, um, did we forget something? We just uh, uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna do a little trip down t Jefferson after a while and and do some. Uh, come on, Carla. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Carla just wanted to step in and say hi. And Linda's behind the camera. She's uh, busy. So thank you, girls. Thank and, you, uh, girls, so much. Thank you, Mary, for helping me. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. And don't be intimidated. It's not hard, but it is time consuming, and it is back breaking. If you got a bad back, right. <laughs> just <laughs> FYI. Um, but we will um, we'll be out and about tomorrow. We think we're going to Nacogdoches, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so y'all want to be watching for us um, to see what we're going to show y'all tomorrow. Right. So we love y'all. Be sure to count your blessings. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.